I think the other thing, important thing to look at is the demographic divide within the country between the people who are going to be likely to vote to remain and the people who are likely to vote to leave. I think in all, all likelihood the people who vote to remain will be a younger audience who are very pro-European in their general outlook but not necessarily likely to actually vote. So and in, in the flip side of that you've got the older generation who are tend to be Eurosceptic but at the same time vote very, very highly. So you're going to have a situation whereby the older generation is going to vote to leave the European Union uh, and vote on the future of the younger generation, basically vote, voted on their future, and they're going to have to deal with the fallout and the, uh, you know, the economics of repercussions of that.